Good morning and welcome to Harrogate Regional Championships. We are just in the queue. We just got into the venue and uh, it is actually freezing outside. Uh, just managed to get in um, right in the nick of time. Just a quick tip for anyone going to major events like this. Be there five minutes for the opening time because um, uh, it will just be <laughs> it'll just be really really busy with all of the crowds. As you can tell. Uh, a very very nice venue actually. We're at the Harrogate uh, Convention Centre. So I'm just having a look around all the tables. And in today's um, video, we're going to be vlogging our performance, and uh, hopefully every single every single time um, uh, there's a round, uh, I'll just be giving an update. So what makes it different as well is um, I'm actually going to be playing. <laughs> So I'm actually going to be playing, uh, that's what makes it different. And Summer over here, say hello Summer! <laughs> Summer is obviously going to be playing uh, during this as well. So. Alright, so we're just going to go through. Uh, nice and warm in here, it is nice and warm in here. And, and first we've got the, uh, the vendors section on the right hand side, so we've got lots and lots of crushes. Should we go to the vendors section first, Summer? Alright, let's go. No? <laughs> Okay. Hi. Have you Hi. Your uh, yes, we're, they're already written. Oh, I didn't finish. Okay. Thank you. All right. Brilliant. Thank you. Uh, you can take it morning, morning, Professor. Thank you. <laughs> Lovely, cheery, cheery welcome. Okay, so you get more walking. There's a mimic queue over there. Hi. Morning. 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 Oh. I'm going to try and catch up with these guys. Uh, just through a little mazy labyrinth. <clears throat> hey, how you doing? You alright? Yeah, good to see you, good to see you. Morning, morning professors. Morning. 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 So, nice spirits. And uh, look at that! <laughs> Kelly, <laughs> Professor George Kelly. Okay, so so anyone who's not used to this kind of thing, uh, so basically what happens is um, we have a, a deck list that we have to write out. Um, some players just leave it till the uh, last minute. So they're still writing out and deciding what they what's inside their deck list. Um, there, we there you go. <laughs> so our deck list is uh, so. Welcome to your Pokemon Harrogate Regional Championship. For those people who are, are unfamiliar with the format of regional championship, championships, we have to fill out a deck list, which looks a bit like this. Uh, it's a 60 card deck, and you get to choose uh, whatever is inside your deck. And the choice of what cards go into your deck are governed by a few rules. Uh, you can have as many basic energy as possible as you feel you need to. Um, Four max of every card um, and four max of uh, a specific name of the card as well. So we've got our deck list. We're very organised, uh, but there are 
Some people who just want to make like a last minute change or you know maybe just to do a little bit of playtesting right at the very end. Um, but it's all it's all part of the fun and the excitement. You know, one of these players is actually going to come away with with a significant uh, amount of cash. So I'm just going to come off for a moment, get my deckless hand in it, and I'll be back. Wicked, brilliant, thank you. Right, let's go. Uh, Deckless gets handed in. Um, okay, so keep walking. And so we got our we got our product, and now we just add it in. Oh, I know this fella. Oh no. <laughs> There we go. So as you can tell, all of the professors just checking all of the deck lists. All right. I'll come offline just for a moment, just in case there are any problems. Have a look. What's the regional um, card? I don't know. No, don't take it out now, otherwise it will be a nightmare to take back. <laughs> <laughs> What's the, what's the promo card? Have you got the promo card? So in each of... Oh, there you go. Fantastic. So this is the promo card. It's very it's exclusive for this event. <laughs> right, okay. So... Any quick clue? You have Blasafla on you? I d sorry? You have Blasafla on you. I, I don't have any cards except the 6060, that's all. That's all. <laughs> if you messaged me, I did have a spare one, but yeah. next time, at me, yeah? Yeah, you guys smart. Don't worry, I'm on it as well. So here we are, uh, we're just waiting for um, round one. Uh, Perry is to start up, and uh, we have none other than CB. Jono, hey, and then CB. Connor, and uh, some brown sleeves, Joe. Some, I think uh, yeah, some, yeah, yeah. some guy over there. Some guy over there. So, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, you're not judging today. No, um, I don't even know if I can judge anymore because I haven't done it for so long. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I'm playing. Uh, we play. Uh, uh, Trumby. Yes. And you're playing. You're playing. The, you're playing the stage one and the basic as well. Yes. <laughs> yes. Just to be. Come on, show off those energies. Let's see. Now. Oh, Connor's energy. Just for the audience. What? Me, these interested. are when uh, the game used to look beautiful. Uh, these are rare cards. I mean, like, I know they're energy, but they are rare. They're beautiful. The Celebes. Bring, Bring them back. Bring them back. Bring them back. There are some new energy cards as well. Yes, this one. Prism stuff. I don't know what any of this is. <laughs> You don't know what Super Boost Energy is. <laughs> I think it's just, uh, what is it? Stage 2, Stage energy. Two, yeah. It beats Shuckle, I think. That's why it's a Gary Shuckles. Shuckles, I picked up a playset, £6 pounds each. Yeah. For hugging. I guess, I guess that's scary as well. For hugging. No, it's just, that's going to take me through League Cups for the rest of the, uh, yeah. the, rest of the season. Should be fun. Bird is the word. Bird is back. Bird is the word. Hey, look, hey, look. Come on, Connor. Come on. Wow. How you doing? Wow, wow, wow. I'm alright. Good, good, good. First regionals of the season in the UK. Looking forward to it. As much as I can be. Feeling well? Just look like I'm eating glass after all this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Best of my sins, I That's alright. Should be good. So, uh, Connor's had a look at my deck, and uh, Connor is now going to tutor me with all the matchups. What? Go on then. Blacephalon, number one. Oh, Blacephalon, you just... Mate, alright. Basically, your first care will be sublimation. And then your... How do you get the first KO? Oh, sublimation, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, okay. they're going to kill whatever's in your active anyway. <coughs> Okay, so first, first so you, of, they go down to five. <coughs> okay, yeah. yeah. So your counter catches kick in as well, so you can just get them that yeah. way. Okay. Your second KO will be from. Wow. So You've got to get Decidueye out at that stage, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. True. So you have I, to get a Decidueye out because you only different. get 120. So the Decidueye has to do 140. You got choice band 170. Yeah. So the second, the second uh, feather arrow will hit out. Uh, uh, 
uh, the knock out the Placephalon, and then what you can do is you can just target down the Lele, right? So it's wow. Your, third, your last four prizes will come from literally this. Yeah. So you put 40 damage onto two Persephalon, and then this is perfect math because you do 190, which is like 10 over. Where are you going to get the other 10 from? Yeah. Like if this lifts, you can do 30 damage to a Persephalon. Excellent. And then you don't need this. Excellent. You're hitting 150. Okay, uh, right. Next matchup, what can you think? Lost March. I mean, just get three of these up. Three of these up, right. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, we could do that. If you, if you just get three of these out, you win. You win. You're just going to kill everything they put down. Okay. But it takes a long time to get a set up, but you can just be swinging with Zorak anyway. Excellent. Let's put them on the map. There we go. Because we are, we are sponsored. Ambassadors of Ultimate Gun. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, that's happening over here. Someone's taking the pairings. They're running away. It's Team Rocket. Team Rocket. We're playing outside now. Yeah. Team Skull Williams. There we go. So, all right. Okay. Next matchup. Like any Zorak match you're just going to be making your math up with these anyway. And you've got the Lavatar as well. And you've got Lavatar. The okay. thing with Lavatar though... It's very close to With this, you have to put five damage counters on the Zorak to kill it, or you'll put a choice band to this. Okay, yeah, okay. Because you only hit for 190 with three damage counters on the Zorak. Okay, so this attack does 70 more damage, 80, so it'll be 160. Uh, with choice band, it's overkill. It's overkill. So 70 goes to 100, 200. You just need to ping it with Sidra. You gotta put three pings onto it. Three pings onto it. No, what if you have choice band attached to it? If you've got choice band, you're in the Yeah, 70, yeah. 80, 110, 220. Yeah. yeah, you knock it out anyway. But right? you, it's whether you want to commit a choice band to this or not. Because uh, you're only going to get one prize off it. You're only going to take two prizes from this unless you've got a rescue stretcher. The rescue back. stretcher's in there. Stretcher is in there. Yes. So just go pro Lavata. How many choice man? I forgot. We've got two choice man in there. It is, it is pretty early in the day. I should remember what my deck this is. I usually learn in round one. Hey! Okay, right, so that's fine. You have Hollow Hunt though, so. Hollow Hunt, yeah. Oh, Hollow Hunt is great when I run out of Goosemis. Hollow Hunt is great. You got Counter Gain as well. So. Counter Gain. Counter Gain I'm really, really liking. Uh, right, what other matchups are there? Mirror. Like, sell three of these, each match motion effectively, each match motion effectively, you win. I don't have that motion. I have one Ace Roller. Each match all up really, 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 really effectively. Really I don't have the Ace Rollers. If you get three of these out, and you choice band this, you're doing like two turns anyway. Oh. And you, I mean, you've got this to kill Zorax anyway. Okay. So you're just ping with Lavatar. Lavatar could be key, because they may not play Lavatar as well, so... It's getting a bit fun and exciting now. Uh, like I say, I'll probably learn how to play the uh, the deck first round. I don't usually go into uh, tournaments like this, but I've just been focusing, concentrating on how someone's been doing. Uh, thank you very much for all that. I'll probably play the video back to myself as well. Bye. Take care. Enjoy the vlog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, someone's filming this at the moment. Uh, this is the end of round one. Uh, I'm playing to Situi um, Zorak Nine Tails, and my first round opponent was from Sweden, called Simon. Uh, very polite player, very, uh, very exceptionally uh, good humoured as well. He's an artist as well. He was, he's uh, an adult player. He's an artist, uh, specialised in wood as well, carving. So he showed me uh, some pictures of his artistry while we were still sitting around waiting. Uh, apparently, he had a a sculpture that was a, a rabbit that was made of uh, recycled t-shirts. That was pretty, pretty good to meet Simon. And uh, he played a, uh, a Zoroark uh, deck with nine tails, but he actually played um, uh, Lycanroth as well. Uh, so that was I, I lost the first game because I went ultra, ultra aggressive. Um, <laughs> 
I started attacking with uh, Tapulele and I put two uh, two damage uh, two double colorless on it and uh, I just went for it and then he did a whole load of cards and uh, drew into a Kukui so he actually one hit KO'd uh, a 170 Lele and from that point onwards I was like oh no and then later on it came back to, to haunt me uh, because I didn't I wasn't able to find energy so after about 15 minutes I just scooped that round went into game two game two was really really extensive um, uh, I was just looking out to make sure that he was uh, playing in time he, he just managed to uh, play it in time his turns he wasn't stalling or anything like that and with about five minutes to go six oh, minutes to go, you're right with about five minutes ten minutes to go um, uh, I, I managed to, to push the win over uh, the line. Uh, he had a real um, energy um, energy drought right in the middle of it as well, so I really, really tried to make sure that I, I got that win. So we tied in the end. I was five minutes left. Five minutes left. Uh, we tied in the end. And um, I got the tie. And Summer, you got the tie as well. Yeah. So. Uh, ties are always really, really good. They're always better than a loss. You know, going in round two, I can go in with a tie. Absolutely fine with that. Nine long rounds ahead of me, so it'd be nice to chalk up a win. But yeah, you know, we'll see how it goes. See how it goes. So uh, it was really nice getting this feedback from my opponent. He said I was really, really uh, good playing. Uh, really, really, I played really, really well in that second game. So it's nice to get a little bit of feedback from that one. That's, that's like giving me the confidence to keep going. Now I know how to play my deck. I didn't know how to play my deck. It's like, you know, didn't even have a deck together in like 24 hours ago. But now I know how to play my deck, so I'm going to play my deck. I'm going to win. Hopefully. That's it. Are you going to win, Summer? There we go. Alright. See you. Round two. Okay, so quick round update. Uh, round two has already just finished. And uh, I played uh, Ben Omar, who was um, uh, from Manchester. And he was running uh, Shiny Narcissus, which is a spread deck with Malamar. Spreading everything, so what I had to do was trying to punch him in the state on for ages and ages and ages and ages. Um, trying to punch him was there, but I just had to make sure that I just put one GX out at a time. So I won that one. We finished with about 20 minutes to go. He looked at the clock. He said, um, do I need to, do we need to really play this? I was like, it's up to you. He just asked for how long there was on the clock. I think there was 12 minutes left. And then after that, um, it, was, it was like, okay, you know, you can have this one. So that was fine. Early lunch, why not? Early bit of the break. Walk around, catching up with uh, lots of other people. Uh, Summer, playing the mirror. Winning the mirror. She's on one win, one tie, four points, both four points. See you after round three. Okay, so it's the end of round three, and um, my opponent was extremely lucky. And what happened was, she was late to her match, but as she sat down, that's, that's just when they said, right, you may begin. So, she was just two seconds out from, uh, from getting what's called a tardy mark, for being late, and the match ended up as a tie, and I just remembered like afterwards, oh, that's, that's a different condition. Uh, so, I asked the judges and they said, no, just two more seconds and she would have actually been able to, um, uh, she would have got a warning for, for being late for the match. So, I won the first match, it was against the Lissapalon deck, Lissapalon. Uh, I won the first match really, really easily. Uh, second match, she got, I think she had a hand of four, and uh, there were four beast rings, and then I lost the third one. Summer just, uh, so it was a tie, I didn't lose the third one, it was a tie. Summer just won hers, and uh, we, pairings are now up. Okay, right. Oh gosh, it's start, all the rounds are starting to come together now. Um, it is, it's just, round four's just passed. Uh, someone was up against Ricardo, one of the best in Europe. Uh, second at the last regional championships, so she was up there. Uh, playing a mirror match as well. Ironically, uh, this is exactly what happened in Offenbach. So she lost both of those games, so she lost that match. She's now 2 1 1 at the moment. So where am I? I have drawn two and I've won two. Drawn two and won two. So the last match that I played was up against the last match. I have to say thank you so much uh, to Connor who gave me a little bit of a background as to how to approach that matchup just before. Obviously, I think it's going to be a feature on the video. Turn two, I had three Decidueyes on the bench, uh, Decidueye GXs. Game one was just a ferocious for me. Game two went. 
a little bit longer. It was to and fro, but managed to get it in. I think um, just had a, a bit of a, a bit of a point in the middle of the game where I just couldn't draw into anything that I really, really wanted to to, to get. I was stuck on my wreck, and it's only had one decidue. Managed to get all three of them in the end. Basically, it gets last march, just get as many decidues out as possible. Right. Okay. We're coming up to round four soon. Hopefully. See how it goes. So, uh, end of round five, I think, uh, and I am two wins, one loss, two draws. Uh, I played against an opponent who I know very, very well, UK player, and it's one of those uh, matchups I always think, oh, you know, why do I every single season, every single year play Carl Blake? So he's he's kind of like my um, my bogey pairing in the tournament. We all seem to sort of meet up at, at some point, and um, he was playing like almost like a mirror match against me. But the one zero one, the one zero one, um, uh, Solganio uh, GX promo one, which I actually did buy, but I thought no, I won't, I won't put it in. Uh, that that just completely swung the match up in his favour. I just have to say because you just have to deal with it. Can't put nine tails down or anything like that. Summer's one. So Summer, what did you play against? Uh, Zora what? Weavile? Lycanroc. Lycanroc. Okay, so it's a Zora Rock, Nine Tails. Very tricky there. Pretty really cool, last, um, last match of summer. Go summer. I need to try and secure a top 128 position. So, top 128 players get points. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, this next match will be an easier match. Alright, see you soon. Uh, okay, so it is the end of round six, and uh, pleased to say that summer has made it into the top eight. She won against Camille, a uh, very hard fought match, and uh, she is full 1-1, and we think that is that that is enough points for uh, making it through to uh, top, top eight, and I'm a very big advocate today for her to actually finish, uh, finish the tournament tomorrow. Got a hotel stay as well, so we're going to be doing that. Um, I played Simon Smith's dad, uh, sorry, Simon Smith, uh, Freddie's dad, and uh, unfortunately it was non-GX, it was Weavile, incredibly strong in format. Uh, his Weavile, his non-GX is doing 250 damage against me, uh, so not very, uh, not very uh, happy news for me, but I'm 222 at the moment. All right there, so it is now uh, day two, and uh, we've pretty much got the um, uh, the results through. So last night I did a couple of rounds, um, and uh, three rounds, I think I won the first one. It's all a little bit of a haze, because that's what happens with regionals. Um, first one I actually won, the second one I was late, and the reason why I was late was because uh, Summer had actually made it through to top eight, um, and that was fantastic, and we were celebrating basically. So as we were celebrating, I said, right, okay, I'm gonna buy you a plush, so a plush is like a cuddly toy. Then, um, as we were choosing the plush, I looked over my shoulder, and the times had actually started on my next round. So as a result of that, I quickly ran over to uh, the tables. Um, needless to say, it might not have been a, might not have been a, a, a good matchup anyway. But what happens is you get a late penalty. That means you have to win two games, uh, and because I have a setup and they have a setup, so I was a bit foolish. But hey, you know, that's what happens. Uh, and a very good player as well, uh, very good Europe, uh, um, European player. So, uh, in all honesty, he played the Solgaleo. I have nine tails. Solgaleo has been a real standout card. Uh, I think that needs to go into my deck if I am continuing with the Sidurai. Nine tails, all right, which I might as well do. Um, and then round nine, I think I was out of points anyway. I was out of contention, so uh, we just... Um, I, I was in two minds at that stage because Summer was actually uh, playing. We did see, trying to figure out whether she could actually get a uh, an opportunity to opt out of uh, playing top eight last night. She didn't. But then what happened was she actually won. Uh, so she went from top eight to top four. And then what happened was uh, she played her top four match today. So she won her top eight against Granville, against all odds. And then what happened was um, in, uh, in between that time we kind of prepared her for a Blacephalon matchup. Uh, she won the first one. Congrats, Anna. 
<laughs> and then what happened then afterwards was uh, she lost the second one and she started off with a tapelay and with time it was uh, it was actually really really precious. Congratulations Xander. Thank you. Congratulations. This is the eventual winner. Uh, who played last March, so you're going to be featured on TTI Pokemon's next video. Okay. That's okay, thank you very much. How does it feel to be a winner? Uh, very, very happy. Fantastic. I look forward to seeing your list on the Regional uh, Championships website, and we'll be, we'll be having a look at that list. So congrats, well done. Well done. So they've done really, really well. Um, very, very poor matchup against uh, Blacephalon, so even if um, Summer actually got through, uh, I don't think it, it would have been that favourable. Hello! <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's it. So we're just going to take a little bit of a break, I reckon. Round right about Harrogate. So, Summer, what did you win? What did you win? Okay, so Summer won uh, a playmat. Bring out the playmat. So it was a top eight playmat. Hey, Daniel. One of our supporters. What up? Oh, it was so close. Well, well, how was how was Summer in that last? Summer played the uh, best she could. Yeah. And just her hand was just that last game. Her hand was just unlucky. So, congratulations, Summer. Let's have a look at the mat that you won. There we go. So you got, Summer's got top eight mat. Fantastic. Okay. And she got the trophy as well. If you to bring out the trophy. I like that. Thank you very much. We can do that. Pop it over. All right. And uh, this is the picture of the trophy that Summer won. So that's the second one in a row. That is absolutely fantastic. Well done, Summer. Right. Where are we playing next? We're playing in a couple of league cups. Um, things that I would like to try out. Standout cards from this weekend have been Weavile, uh, Solcanium Promo. Uh, really need to start looking at Lost March again. That's uh, that's phenomenal because it won Juniors. Um, I'd like to see. I'd like to see some of these new Reggie Gigas decks because I think they're pretty, pretty cool. Uh, they've just done really well. Uh, perhaps you know, future, future uh, play for uh, you know, sneaky, sneaky challenges, that kind of thing. All right, okay. So there we have it. That's our journey. Go through the night